Okay. So seeing as we have arrived at the most wonderful time of the year, <laughs> don't look at me. <laughs> How are you? Welcome to my channel. My name is Erin and this is the Apple Shed, my creative space. So good news, my planner has arrived. Now, this year, in 2022, I used the Eden Planner for the first time and I was blown away. I mean, I have used a lot of planners. I've had traveler's notebooks, I've had Oh, I don't know, how many cheese. I've done all the planners and all the different ways and all the different setups. If you have followed me for a number of years, you will know that. And I have finally come to the marvelous Eden planner, which I found on Instagram. A friend had posted it in her highlights back in January and I saw it and just thought, oh my God, I need to have that planner. That's going to work for me. And I'd like trawled through all her highlights and you know, like, and, and stalked her until I could find the exact picture and then blew up the picture and I was like, okay, the Eden planner. And I went online and I found it and I bought it, even though I had already bought my planners for, the, for 2022. No regrets. Hashtag no regrets. It is a fabulous planner, just, just right for me. The features are outstanding. The feel of it, the look of it, the cleanness of it. It is just, it's just 10 out of 10, highly recommend. Love this planner so much. So of course, naturally, I went on the pre-order list to get this year's, or the 2023 Eden Planner, which I will say to you, um, she, the uh, lovely lady who makes them, um, in she is based in Fremantle, or North Fremantle, Western Australia, which funnily enough is where I grew up. I'm not there now, I'm in Tasmania. But anyway, so she um, designed and manufactures them and um, as soon as she had them arrive, she put them out for, boxed them up and sent them out for delivery. And I had the planner in my hand within, I think it must have been like 24 hours or two days tops. Incredible, such fast delivery, like how amazing. So here is the box. I've been holding on to it and not opening it so that I could share it with you. This year I bought a few extra accessories. Last year I bought only the planner and you know what? Because I was late in ordering, there weren't any planners left and she had just released a couple, a couple of planners that had some small imperfections and I went, yeah, fine, I'll grab one of those. I don't even know what the imperfections were. I have no... I see no imperfection in this planner whatsoever. So I guess I just lucked out on that one. I don't know. But this year I went on the pre-order list and I, um, and I got my planner. All right, my lovelies, let us unbox this glorious Eden planner. Woohoo! Here we are. Look at this beauty, my friends. Look at this beauty. So, Welcome friends new and old, you are about to meet your very own Eden Planner. Oh, it's been designed to function as your coach, your best friend and your personal assistant over the next 12 months. Oh, isn't that lovely? And it's got instructions on the refills. Oh, and scan for your tutorial. That's so nifty. Thanks, Sam. Okay, got that, 
got that. Here is the glorious planner. Oh, it's such a special planner. For a start, this cover is so sturdy. It's so sturdy. And look, if you know me, you know that green is very much my thing. And I think this one is even lighter. It's a lighter, more olive green than last year's. Look, there's last year's. There's this year's. Oh, I love this shade of green. I absolutely love it. That is so nice. That is so, so me. Oh, I just adore it. It helps you split, uh, like look at the balance of your life in the sectors of wellness, recreation, relationships, income and career, which um, is very handy. But it's, you know, it's the features. It's got monthly and weekly pages, the projection and reflection pages, long-term projects, monthly projects, detailed planning tips and many more treats. One of the things that like I really loved about this is um, the tabs. I just, I find them so usable, so easy to get to what you want. And it, it encourages you to really like dig down deep into the plan and um, really break down your routines and your habits and your actions over the month. What I love, I love this section, and this is the monthly project section. So you have your four monthly pro short-term projects. So these are just for the month, and you break them down into steps, and you've got the, the breakdown of the time and the, um, the date you want to do them by. So it really helps you to take your larger sort of project and break it down into chunks. And I have found this so incredibly useful. I have used them and loved them all of the last year. Really, really helpful. I love it. And your weekly spreads, which this section here I find excellent. You can keep your projects listed there and then you can break down your schedule. I love this gap up here. I find it really helpful. And I love the priority bit up here. I honestly, I just love this planner. Here's where you can do your year at a glance and keep track of your reflections of 2023. Ooh, bucket list bingo. That's new. So random acts of kindness bingo. Oh my God, I love that. That's so sweet. So she's got things like leave a kind review, volunteer for a good cause, take a friend out for coffee, gift someone a meaningful book. Oh my God, that is just precious. I love it. I love it. Okay. Like it's called the Eden Planner and she makes no apologies for just really going on a gardening analogy throughout the whole planner. And I, I have to say, like, I adore it. I love it because, you know, I love gardening. So anyway, right at the back here, you've got the life planning section. So what have we got here? The life planner pages are now at the back. So this is where, I guess, where you stop and you acknowledge where you are right now and perhaps where you want to go with relationships, with income, wellness and recreation. Um, and here's where you um, look at how the project system works. You start to break down what it is that you want. Um, and here's where you actually break down your long-term projects that you're going to achieve over the course of a year. And, and, you know, by breaking them down and giving them required time and then putting that back into your monthly pages, you get things done. I mean, it's just beautiful. As a woman who is a parent, who runs a business, who has a part-time job, who runs a household, who has all sorts of challenges and, you know, like we all do, I find this planner to be it just works. It is just, it's just really good. And this year, this year I purchased, which I didn't do last year, the erasable pen with three spare inks. She was doing a special deal. So I've taken her up on her special deal. I just wanted to quickly show you from this year's planner how I used. These are the monthly spreads here, breaking down the tasks. And this is a sample of my weekly spread. So there you have it. That is the Eden Planner, my planner of choice for 2023. If you would like to take a look at it, I'll leave the link in the comment box below. It has been a full and busy and just really jam-packed couple of weeks. So I put a post up in the community feed, in my YouTube community feed, to let you guys know that I would be posting up a video every two weeks. So fortnightly videos from me, 
that I have realized is my the, the optimum schedule for me. If I try and get a video out, video out every week, I just feel like the quality is not there. They're not what I want them to be. They're rushed. I don't want that. I don't want to be scrambling around. I want to make something that's helpful, that's great to watch, that's informative. And to do that, I need a couple of weeks in a cycle so that I can gather things so that I can, you know, think authentically about what would be useful. And, um, and because I have a multitude of other jobs on at the same time, so they, and they need to come first, obviously. So this two week schedule is, is just right for me. So in this last few weeks, one of the highlights was going down to the local Creek with my kids. And while they splashed about in the river, I took some time to sketch them. I brought a very kind of skeleton art supply um, um, pack kit. And what I used, in fact, were these here. I used, I took this palette by Prima Marketing or Art Philosophy is, I, I always get confused about this Prima Marketing Art Philosophy thing, but basically I think... Prima Marketing is the blanket company, and then within that, you have Art Philosophy, or it could be the other way around. But they do a number of watercolor palettes, which I did invest in because I have my beautiful Daniel Smith watercolor kit. But I must say, these Prima sets are just beautiful. I love their palettes. They're very usable. They're very, oh, they just, they translate well to all, um, I have to show you. So the one I took with me to the creek is Woodland, the Woodland set, which is one of my favorites. It's absolutely beautiful. And um, in, the, in the second half of this video, I'm going to do some illustrations, some snowman illustrations. And I actually used the Prima Marketing Decadent Pies palette, which is also just beautiful. They're honestly, they're highly pigmented. They're a mid-range they're a mid-range watercolor kit so they're not your top of the range you know they're not the most expensive and they're not the bottom they're somewhere in the middle and the quality is beautiful and the colors are beautiful and they're highly pigmented and they're just, they're just really good i have to say they're very versatile is the word i'm looking for they're versatile so i use these i guess today's the, i realized this episode of oh, this is kind of a um prima marketing little palette showcase i guess because i use this one and i use this one and i really think they're great so we went down to the creek and the kids played in the in the rocks and made their pies and set, created this shop where they produce i think they were creating pies to sell or something like that and i sat on the bank and just drew them and it was so lovely because it really stretches me like i I always tell myself, draw the kids, draw the kids, but it's kind of hard. They're always moving. So the practice is so important. And I sat on the bank and I started to draw and then I thought, oh my God, they didn't, they just never stop moving. How am I going to draw them? And then I realized you just have to pick a pose, start drawing it, stay with it, stay the course and, you know, trust the mess, work through the ugly phase. Just keep going, just keep going. And so that's what I did. And I thoroughly enjoyed myself. It was absolutely beautiful. How come the stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away? Show us where we are. What makes the sun go to sleep? Every night, and what's it dreaming of? I wonder. How come the sky sometimes hides behind the clouds? Maybe it's just like me, a little bit scared of heights. Why does the rain always keep on pouring? When it's grey outside It really makes me wonder Yeah, it makes me wonder It really makes me wonder Ooh, I wonder How come the trees get sun? 
And don't they miss the leaves they left behind? Could it be to make the ground shine like gold until winter comes? Until winter comes? Until winter comes? It really makes me wonder. Yeah, it makes me wonder. As we have arrived at the most wonderful time of the year I thought why not get into it and do some Christmas illustration so for the second part of this video we are doing some snowman illustrations yay now I wouldn't be me if I was going to do the regular looking snowman they've got to be a little bit fun a little bit quirky so I've got a, a four different kinds of snowmen and they're basically mixed media because I'm using a bit of acrylic, mainly using watercolor, but there's also some colored pencil because that's how I roll. So let's get into it. Let's have some fun and draw some snowmen. I have sketched out my snow people onto my sketchbook and now I am creating the color palette that I'm gonna use. So I'm using the Decadent Pies palette, watercolor palette by Prima Marketing one of my favorites as i've shown you the colors that i'm using are this beautiful deep red which is called apple this gorgeous fresh green which is key lime i've popped in a turquoise that you can just see there which is actually a daniel smith kingman turquoise and this deep indigo blue is actually called blackberry which is also from the decadent pies palette such beautiful colors and as i said look at that pigment look at that color for a medium range watercolor palette i think it's stunning so first off i'm going to do the young fresh little snowman with this gorgeous green and i'm laying down the key lime on there and it's nice to do all four snow people at once because then you can do your watercolor on one and move on to the next illustration while this one dries <laughs> I am using a touch of titanium white acrylic paint here because I want the snow people's bodies to be really crisp and white. So I'm carefully, I'm using acrylic and I'm carefully going around the places where I'll be putting watercolor because I don't, I won't be able to use watercolor on top of the acrylic. So I'm just doing the white on, you know, the main fleshy part of the faces and the snow people's bodies. All right, now I am painting the cape in this beautiful apple shade and I'm just doing layer upon layer at this deep red pigment that is so pretty. It's so pretty. I think these make great Christmas colors actually, the apple and the key lime and, and the blackberry as well. The brush I'm using is my trusty Escoda travel brush. I have a set of three Escoda travel brushes in three different sizes. This is the size six. It is a stunning brush uh, for use, use with watercolor and gouache. Escoda make incredibly lovely brushes. Really, really beautiful. Oh, and I love how deep this pigment is getting up in the corners there by the shoulders. It's such a beautiful color, this apple. And I'm going to darken it up on the little beanie of the young snow fella as well. So now I'm using blackberry on the little hat of the witchy Victorian snow woman. Now, it, it wouldn't be me if I didn't make my snow people a little bit fun and a little bit quirky. So I've got the young snowman in his hat and then I've got the witchy kind of Victorian snow woman. Here I'm doing the snow angel and painting her kind of wreath dress with the beautiful fresh key lime colour. I've painted her wings turquoise. Look, I don't know about the turquoise. I've, I've got it in there. I don't not like it, but mm, 
Yeah, I'm not sure. But I love painting this little wreath on her. It's so pretty. And lastly, I've got my Regency snowman. And so I'm doing his Regency bow tie, his necktie in the beautiful apple color. And he's going to have kind of a Regency-esque pattern on his body, which you'll see in a bit. You've just got to take your time with these layers so that they don't bleed into each other. And I'm doing his top hat with key lime. And I love the way when you choose a color palette, then all the snow people will complement each other. So now I'm using the key lime to do his pattern. And I just have to be like, it's a little bit tricky because I, I painted his body with acrylic with white. So some of the paint, some of the watercolors like resisting against the acrylic, but that's okay. That's fine. I'll just go along and complete this pattern. Right, now I'm going to do some details with pencil, colouring in the eyes and doing the shape of the, the outline of the face with my well-used colour pencils. I've got a mix here of Prismacolor and Caran d'Ache Luminance pencils and Polychromos. I actually really like them all, but my favourite is the Luminance by Caran d'Ache. This pencil here is, I think the color is called Pumpkin. It's so good. I really love it. Caran d'Ache watercolour crayon to do the hair in a lovely loose scribbly fashion which I really enjoy doing. Textury details. I try to keep the hair and the arms and everything as loose and free as I possibly can. I don't want too much detail. I don't want too much shading. I don't want any of that. I want it to be pretty loose and pretty suggestive. And that's how I like it.
just really bringing in the shading on the necktie. I tend to buy colors. So if I, if I love colors, I will buy those shades and those colors in a variety of different mediums. So I'll have it in watercolor. I'll have it in acrylic. I'll have it in pencil. I'll have it in crayon, that same color so that I can work the details using different mediums, but the colors remain the same. Okay, that's it for this week, my lovely friends. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any comments or any questions, please put them in the box below. If there's anything you would like me to make a video on, I would love to hear about it. Thank you so very much for watching. I so appreciate your time and I hope your build up to the Christmas season is going well and it's not too hectic and it's not too stressful. Lots of love. Mwah.